So I'm toying with the idea. Oh yeah, welcome to the experimental workshop. So I'm toying with the idea of uh, CNCing Christmas ornaments. Now I saw this design. I drew this in. I forget if I drew this in ink tape or drew this in here. Uh, I think I drew this in here with the uh, polygon tool. And the problem is the vectors that are created are open or not joined or joined or so. I can cut out this hole and leave the trunk and get this profiled out. Yeah, so we see that. Um, but my problem is this becomes one vector for some reason. And I can't cut it. Profile, pocket, doesn't matter. It says, yeah, not going to work. So, again, I got to learn more about CAD and vectors and how to get these things together. So, that's a complex one. I could try and just do it without the round part and just do a tree. That might be my fix. So, we will see. And put a hole in the star. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't want to change things. So, whoa, where did you go? I went with other ones. I had other things open, did I not? Okay. So I found some ornaments. An ornament, um, here we go, fancy ornaments. I found this Adobe Illustrator file out in the internet, brought it in. Again, you import vectors or import bitmaps and JPEGs. Um, this was a vector thing. Import this in, and obviously it doesn't fit on my 12 by 12, and that's fine. That's 12 by 12 just set up there. I'm not cutting this file. But what I can do is I can copy one ornament, control C, copy literally, and paste it into a new file. So I just have this file here just to, to copy from. So where is that other? So there's the other one. So I copied it into here, pasted it into here and then copy and pasted it some more times so I can cut multiple things out of one board. Um, I'm probably not going to do three quarter inch board here. So let's go, let's look at tool pass. So I'm thinking quarter inch board and I cut 0.26 through again. You've got to cut through to get this out. And I'm thinking quarter inch board again. I can measure this later when I'm ready to cut. I'm just playing and experimenting with it. I'm going to use an eighth of an inch end mill to cut this. I don't think I need to play with peck drilling. Um, oh, this is the drilling tool path. Oh, da, 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 da. let's go back here. Now we can, okay, come back. Now we're going with the ornament tool path. Boom. I'm still going with the eighth of inch. I want to use one tool. Um, I'm profiling this 2D profile tool path, so cutting on the outside. Or inside or on, I decide to cut outside. Um, add tabs because again, if you cut this out and it comes loose, there's a drill bit right there, a router bit that's going to cut the heck out of it. So I added some tabs. Again, edit tab, click on add tabs, click edit tabs, put them in there. Just click to put them in. Um, I did ramp to get into this uh, over two inches of movement. It's going to start at zero and work its way down. How far down? Well, I'm going on three passes. And each pass is going to be about 0 0.0867. Just to make it easy for the tool. So passes to make it so easy on the tool. And then you know, calculate the vector. Oh, it's going to cut through. Yes, it is. That's my job. OK. And then preview the visible tool pass. Boom, cuts it out, leaves the tab. Um, I also showed the drilling. Now, drilling is its own tool path. So let's go back and look at that. There's a drilling tool path. Yay. Um, and again, start at zero, go down 0.26. I'm just going to use the same bit. And close how do you want to do this well you well again let's see how long it's going to take it's going to take about 13 minutes to cut these out quarter inch thick five ornaments okay not bad 
uh, how you get this out to your machine. I save it to uh, the computer. I put it on a flash drive, take the flash drive to my machine, pull up the file, run it. You hit save. I can, since I'm do, since they are the same tool, I can put them into one file and then it'll just run it. But if I was changing tools, I couldn't put them into one file because I got to have it end a file, give me time to change a tool and then go then start a new file. So uh, post-processor, you're going to need to know which one to use for that. Um, I'm using the ARCS one, and that will create a tap file. And a tap file is what goes to the machine. So there's some ideas for ornaments. I'll get more later.